in the Bible, love leads to obedience. And obedience is a sign of love. Think about Hebrews 12 for a second. We read, For the Lord disciplines the one he loves and chastises every son whom he receives. It is for discipline that you have had to endure. God is treating you as sons. In other words, churches should practice church discipline fundamentally for love's sake. Love for the individual sinner's sake that he or she might be brought to repentance. Love for the weaker sheep in the flock's sake. Lest, as Paul puts it, a little bit of yeast works through the whole batch of dough. Love for the non-Christian neighbor's sake, lest heretics and hypocrites lie to them about who Jesus is. And love finally for Christ's sake, that the church might uphold his name rightly. Why should churches practice discipline? Well, one, because the Bible says. Two, because that's loving. Can church discipline be done poorly, wrongly, even abusively? Yes, but that doesn't mean you throw the baby out with the bathwater. Just because there's examples of bad marriages doesn't mean we do away with the institution of marriage. 